Hey guys, and welcome to your fifth HTML5 game development tutorial where we're going to continue to uh, work on our Space Invaders game. And um, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, add, and add multiple enemies and have the enemies come down from the top of the screen and, um, and be removed as they fall off the screen. The first thing that I added um, to our code was uh, a list of aliens that we're going to uh, keep track of so that we can render them uh, onto the canvas. An alien counter which uh, is going to allow us to add a new alien to our game every 30 frames or so. And a last variable which keeps track of which aliens to remove when they get uh, past the past uh, a certain point. So as soon as they come they go off the screen you want to remove them uh, from the list so you don't do any more computation with them. Okay, so let's jump into the render method then. The first thing we do here is we check if this counter uh, is equal to zero. We're going to add a new alien to our list and uh, we're going to give it an x value that's on, on the canvas and a y value of zero and we're going to give it a size that varies. Um, and then we're going to increment this, uh, this counter and um, Whenever the counter hits 30, we're going to set it back to 0. So notice that if new alien counter is a value between 1 and 30, uh, we're not going to add a new alien to our list. But if it's, um, if it's 0, then we do add 1. So about 1 in every 30 frames, we're going to be adding a new alien. All right, so let's jump down to the second part of our code. Um, here we initialize the list of indices to remove to be an empty list. And the reason we do this every render call is because um, we don't want to keep removing index 1 if, um, if the last frame there was an alien uh, off the screen on index 1. We want to uh, make sure that we only remove that ind index once and then set it and then never again. Unless, of course, the alien at that index, um, the new alien at that index goes off the screen. So here we create a for loop, and every time we go through the for loop, we assign current to uh, the alien located at that index in our list of aliens array. And then for, the, um, for drawing the image, um, we're only going to do that if, um, if this alien's y value is not past uh, the limits of the canvas. If it is, we're going to add it to the uh, uh, list of indices to remove, and we'll take care of that alien right down here, where we remove um, all of the aliens in our list of indices to remove. So uh, that alien will no longer be in our list, and will never get painted on the screen again. And of course, if this condition is not met, then uh, the alien is perfectly fine to paint on the screen. So we're going to go down here, we're going to increment its y position by 5, and uh, we're going to draw it on the screen. And the reason we're incrementing this y position by 5 is because we want the aliens to move down the screen. Okay, so that's it for the code. It's pretty simple enough. Um, so let's have a look at the end result. Alright, as you can see, we still have our animation and everything from the previous tutorials, but now Aliens are being generated every 30 frames, and they're coming down from the top of the screen towards us. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll probably be covering collisions or um, maybe a firing mechanism for our spaceship. See you then.